So today we're going to be looking at the Century versus VS1 striking bag. And this is basically just a uh, freestanding striking bag that doubles as a grappling dummy. You can find these on Amazon and also the Century website for about $250. Uh, it usually includes free shipping. I was lucky enough to buy mine on clearance. I bought the floor model out of a sports authority that was going out of business. So it was actually about a hundred bucks off and uh, I was just very lucky to find that deal. Easily move it from room to room and also from the store to your home. So, you know, the fact that it's mobile is awesome. All right, so now I'm just gonna go and demonstrate some of the different things that you can do with this bag and I'll give you my thoughts on it as well, so. Plyo jumping right into some of the less obvious things that you're gonna be doing with this. I like to tie a resistance band to the base of the bag and this allows to perform a lot of different twisting movements, uh, tricep kickbacks, curls, rowing motions. Uh, you could throw punches with resistance. You also have a 100 pound detachable base to work through all kinds of pushing, pulling, and hinging movements. Now, of course, the bread and butter for this bag is gonna be your ability to hit it. And that is when it's standing or when it's on the floor. And one of the main things I really like about this bag is how quiet it is, especially compared to something that you may have to screw into your ceiling, such as a heavy bag. And uh, anybody that's living above you is gonna really appreciate that because this is a lot more quiet than most bags. Another thing that's really nice about this bag is uh, how large the striking area is. The base is only about eight inches off the ground, so it's really short. And above that, you have 60 inches of striking area. So, you know, that's a lot of targets to aim for. Um, I'm just over six foot one, and uh, you know, this works great for me. Another thing to take note of on this bag is the high density foam that they use on the inside. It creates a very low impact uh, situation for your joints when you're throwing uh, certain kicks and techniques. Now, you're not gonna get the same kind of resistance that you would from, uh, say, a heavy bag, but uh, it has a fair amount of resistance and you'll definitely be saving yourself from tweaking your joints as much. One of the coolest things about this bag is your ability to fight it on the floor. You can perform all kinds of ground and pound from punches to elbows to knees to pretty much anything that you can think to throw at it. And let's not forget that this is supposed to double as a grappling dummy. So although it doesn't have any limbs, you can flow around the bag and transition to different submissions and blend it in with your striking. With just a little bit of imagination and creativity, you may never run out of things to do with this bag. That's how versatile it is. You can improve your cardio. You can increase your speed. You can work on your technique from standing position or on the floor and blend those together in a really fun way. And don't make the mistake of thinking that you can't be too rough with this. Um, you can pick it up and slam it down, throw it around, rough it up. You know, that's what it's designed to do. It's designed to take that kind of damage. So uh, here you see me with the base detached and I'm performing a few different takedowns and whatnot. So, you know, play around with it. Use your imagination. That's all I have for now. And uh, if you want to follow the link down in the description below, you can find out more about this bag. This is the only bag approved by me, Laser Cat. Like and subscribe if this was useful.